We went to two different facilities today, and there yeah. seemed to be a big difference between the first one where the families were being housed and the one here where there are single adult migrants. Um, when I went in there, one of them said to me, um, I'm talking about the second facility, this isn't human, the way we're treated. Um, it was, there was a horrible smell. I'm sure you smelled it. You were in there as well. They were sleeping on concrete because there's not enough room for cots, we're told. It was hot. Some of them claim they were hungry. Is that acceptable to you? No, it's not. And it's the reason why we demanded that Congress provide $4.6 billion in additional support uh, to Customs and Border Protection. Look, for the last six months, Democrats in Congress have been saying this is a manufactured crisis. But as you saw firsthand today, here at the um, McAllen Station, where our, our cells are overflowing, and now that temporary facility that you just saw uh, had to be established. And then the first facility that we saw where nearly a thousand families with children are being detained uh, ought to be a very clear message to every American that the time for action is now and the time for Congress to act to end the flow of families that are coming north from Central America to our border is now. Should there be a different level of care for the families versus the adult migrants, single adult migrants? I, I think it's all the same standard of but care. But what we saw what, today was very different for the families versus the single Pamela, adult migrants. Pamela, it wasn't you, the same level well, of care. What, what you saw today was a, was a very clean facility where people were being detained indoors and then you saw a temporary facility that was constructed because this, this facility is overcrowded. And we, we can't keep people in a cell beyond what the rules and regulations allow for. But, but everyone, even in that temporary facility, Pamela, is getting three meals a day, they're getting health care, they're getting hygiene, and the Customs and Border Protection is doing their level best in an overcrowded environment and a difficult environment to address this issue. But Congress has got to act mm -hmm. to make it possible for us to, to reduce the numbers of people coming into our country illegally. And that's gonna require us to change the loopholes, reform our asylum laws. And my hope is today. So that let's two talk things, about the first I, I hope two <laughs> things today, Pamela. I hope first and foremost that we put to the lie this, this slander against Customs and Border Protection. I mean, people saying that, that, that families and children are being held in concentration camps is an outrage. I and mean, the Nazis killed people. Uh, our Customs and Border Protection, as you heard today, are saving lives every day. And you saw the profound, compassionate care for those families and children in the detention facility today. But the other thing is, I hope we also move past this rhetoric about a manufactured crisis. I mean, the, the President wanted me to come down here today to look in on how families are being treated, but also to, to be able to show the American people that this system is overwhelmed, it's overcrowded, and Congress has got to step up to end this crisis of illegal immigration at our southern border. The first facility we went to with the families, was that really a fair representation of how most of the migrant families have been treated under CBP care? You are at the epicenter here in the Rio Grande Valley of this crisis of illegal immigration. 60% of those that are being detained coming across our southern border are coming through this sector. And so I think what we saw today was a very fair representation of how families are being treated. And look, but there are several I different facilities, and I, this was one of them. I understand Americans was just are troubled. built and made to handle the overcrowding. Yeah. Americans are troubled by, by what by what they've read in the newspapers about well, families not being cared for. All you have to do is look at pictures for. like this. I mean, when you look at that, what do you see? Well, I, I, I can't account for that. What I can account for is that the, the facility the that you How saw. How do you not account for this? The, it's a facility that you saw today represents the level and the standard of care that we are working to bring to all those caught up in this crisis. But remember, it was just a few short weeks ago that Congress finally acknowledged the crisis and gave us an additional $4.6 billion in humanitarian aid. Now, we're gonna to continue to improve, we're gonna to continue to provide care at the standard the American people expect. But Pamela, remember for the last six months, Democrats in Congress said it was a manufactured crisis. And, 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 and it was all we could do to finally 
get the Democrats in Congress to agree to give us additional funding to deal with this crisis. And so we'll continue to provide the level of care the American people expect, and we'll do it with compassion and with the generosity. But ultimately, we have got to demand that Congress take the next step, reform these asylum laws, close the loopholes, and end this unprecedented migration. DHS IG says that some children under this administration's watch didn't have access to showers or hot meals. Does the administration take any responsibility for that? Democrats are not in the White House. Where does the buck stop? Yeah, uh, we, we, read, we read those reports and I know that they're being Government's thoroughly- Government's report. They're being thoroughly investigated. I know there were also, there were also lawyers um, mm -hmm. uh, who were here who presented what ultimately became unsubstantiated allegations, but make no mistake about it. Uh, any allegation of people not receiving a, the standard of care that the American people anticipate is, is thoroughly investigated. The recent allegations of abuse are being thoroughly investigated. But what you saw today, I, I hope is an encouragement to millions of Americans that, that, that even before Congress funded a temporary facility, we built that temporary facility to house families who are caught up in this crisis of illegal immigration. And you saw not just three meals a day, children with snacks, there were diapers, there were hygiene products, changing tables, children sitting in a comfortable air conditioned environment, watching television. This is how the American people expect us to, to treat people who are caught up in this crisis. And we're going to continue to work to make that a reality.